everyone, welcome to Bin's Crafty Bin. And today, I am not doing Doodle Book, I am actually making a holder for my colored pencils. Now, I know that I have this tin right here that holds all my colored pencils, and it works, but I'm so sick of trying to scramble through here, and um, I don't get the right color because what's the color on here and what the color that actually shows up are two totally different things. So I have this idea. It kind of stems off from a Pinterest thing that I saw. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick all of my colored pencils into this container. It's a refrigerator freezer organizer. So I'm gonna use these styrofoam blocks that are from the floral section at Walmart. And I'm gonna stick these in here and I'm gonna wrap them with white paper and then I'm gonna stick all my colored pencils in there and then I'm gonna color on the white paper what the color of the colored pencil is. So I know how it comes out and I have a place to stick it and I'm not trying to sift through this tin all the time. So that's what I'm gonna do. First, I have to count how many pencils I have because I have no idea. And I'm gonna line them up into the different colors that I want so that I can have them kind of in some sort of a color organization. Okay, I have them all separated out and counted. I have 72 colored pencils, and I want a place for my regular pencil. So I have 73 that I need to fit in this tub. So I'm going to take these, the styrofoam out and put it in there and try to um, space out my colored pencils enough so that I can fit all 73 in here. See, perfect, doesn't go up over the side at all. Even though it's very fuzzy and messy, it is the easiest kind of styrofoam to cut. That's why I got this kind. That's what it's gonna look like. And now I have to position out all of my colored pencils. They go in a little tough at first, but after I've used it enough, it's gonna, they'll just slide in and out. And all my colored pencils are stuck into my holder, as you can see. Um, they're not probably exactly where I'd have them as far as color shade goes, but it's a good start. So now what I have to do, or what I'm going to do, is I'm gonna take this white cardstock paper, take a couple pages off, and attach them to the green styrofoam. So I'm gonna take it and fold them into thirds so that they wrap around the green styrofoam. Okay, so now I am wrapping the styrofoam with the white paper. Now the hard part is going to be trying to feel out all the dots and marking them off. It's not going to be easy. Okay, I'm going to see how I did on this first line. If not, if I didn't do well, then I might have to start over again. See how it's coming along? It's gonna take a while, but I'm gonna keep going. Okay, I have my colored pencil thing all completed, or at least completed for now. I think it'd be really cool to draw on the sides of this white on all sides of the container. Wouldn't that be neat? So I brought this in here where we have the better light so you can see how it looks. All the colors are on the white paper, so I know exactly what color these colored pencils are gonna be when I use them. See, some of them are very misleading, like this one right here. Look, you can barely see that yellow in there. I'm very excited, I think it came out really, really good. I just have to make a spot for the pencil. I'm gonna stick that right here, because I have a hole. I'm gonna put my drawing pencil right here. It's done for now. So I think this is gonna make Doodle Book so much easier. If you wanna see any more crafty bins, Make sure you subscribe to the channel and like and comment. And I'll see you later. Bye.